On the passenger side, you've got this air snorkel that's in your way. On the driver's side, you probably have to take out the battery if you're trying to get to the outside light. And then I think you can get this inside light even with this still in place with the coolant tank. There are two different kinds of light bulbs. I'm just going to be changing the outside one. You loosen up this bolt and then you pull that snorkel off. It just pressure fits off. And that gives us a, a look at both bulbs here and here. We're just going to be changing this one. So there's a cap over the bulb right here. It's just a big rubber cap and you turn it counterclockwise and then pop it loose to gain access to the bulb. So here's how the latch works. First, we unplug this wire from it. Then the latch works like this. You just push it in and then down and it'll swing out. And then you just pull the bulb out from there. And because the bulb has one flat edge like that, there's no way you're gonna accidentally put it in upside down. It also has a couple of guide pegs. So this is the bulb I'm using. It's the H1 basic Sylvania bulb. And then trying not to touch it with my fingers with this slanted part down towards the ground. I'm just going to shove it in like that. And then the locking mechanism, just trying to pull that little arm down so that that little arm is pushing down on the bulb. And then lock it down so it looks like that. So to lock it down, you just push this part under and slide it up. Plug the electrical lead back onto it and you're done. So you put the cap back on it, you find the little holes, and then you turn it clockwise just a little bit and then it's locked in. And then I put the snorkel back on, pressure fit it on here, and then tighten up the bolt right there.